Hi, it's Natasha and welcome to another Dread Update video. Today I thought I'd talk about uh, the result of the dip dyeing. If you haven't seen that video, you can view it right here. Basically after it was done, the colours were great, everything was really vibrant, especially in the sun. And it was amazing. Like I could see, like looking at it, like from where the bleach had taken. Better than other places, you can see the, for example, the turquoise was more actual turquoise and closer to blue. Whilst other places where it was still a bit yellow, or because some of my extensions have red in them, uh, they were closer to more of a forest green color. But I didn't really mind because you know I like the colors and you know whatever. Unfortunately, after I washed it, I noticed that some of the colours had washed off, especially the purple. Um, I still have some survivors running around, but a lot of the purple washed out. As you can see from this guy, this one here, as you can see all the colour completely washed off and it's just bleach. So I figured I'd go over them all and I'll just stick to the turquoise, because it proved the test of time and water. So and I like the colour. Okay, so moving on, I've had some questions, so I thought I'd tackle them here. I had a question from Desiree Parker, who asked whether I had any problems with the extensions coming off. And, uh, well, for the most part, they've been good. I've just been doing some light crocheting here and there. The bottom dreads aren't as happy as the top ones. In fact, I've had three extensions fall out, as you can see from this one here. It's still not extended yet. Anyway. I still have two of the extensions, but one of them fortunately fell when I was in an airport in Malta. Sorry cleaners. The possible reason why some of them fell out was because I was using a two-in-one shampoo, which is like mixed with conditioner. I know you shouldn't, but yeah. I know it's not the greatest idea since my dreads are still very young. They're around six and a half months now. Using that one with a bit of conditioner and unfortunately it fell out. Which leads me to another point. Some of you were telling me to try and not use regular shampoo because of the build-up and try and move towards, you know, more of a natural shampoo. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. In fact, I'm willing to try it out. I'll go out and find some options for natural shampoos and perhaps in the future I'll be able to do another video to see how I'm doing and how my dreads are doing with that kind of shampoo. So I've recently been to Malta for Easter break. It was lovely and sunny and I was seeing family again. And while I was there, I got my second tattoo. I made a video about it, so if you'd like to watch my experience, click here. And if you'd like to see my uh, experience for my first tattoo, click here. I'm in love with ink and I guess my body is my own museum. Uh, so I plan on getting more and I will make more videos about them. When we got back, it was my birthday, yeah! <laughs> so we went to Toys R Us. You never tools for toys. Initially we went there for board games, but they didn't have the board game that I wanted. So we bought other stuff, including this unicorn. Should be making guest appearances and videos here and there. And another thing I saw that I had to get was... Tamagotchi. Now, I don't know how old you are or whether you remember Tamagotchi in the 90s, but I was obsessed with these in my childhood. I had four. My first one was a duck, then I had a dinosaur, a 16 in one, and I can't remember the other one, but I know that they were all dangling from the same keychain and I used to take them everywhere and it used to drive my parents crazy. But I loved them, so when I saw this, I just had to have it. And it's really cute. And it reminded me of the gem that Sailor Moon wears on her outfit. It's usually over here. And it's just so cute. And I call it Luna, of course. It pooed. There. We also picked up this really cool purple camera. Surprise, surprise, it's purple. But anyway, the reason we got it was because it was really cheap, 
It's like 8.1 megapixels. I don't know what. We got it and uh, my boyfriend's gonna do a review about it. So if you're interested, there's his link. Maybe I'll shoot some videos with that and you can see the result. So anyway, back to dreads for a sec. The ones who know me know that I'm always looking for something to change about the way I look. So I decided I'm going to cut a fringe. Or for the people across the pond, get bangs. I'm going to make a video about that, so when the video is up, you know, if you want to know how to do it yourself, or if you just want to see whether I fail miserably at cutting my own hair, then knock yourselves out. So that's it for today. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you want me to make a video about any topic, you know, just let me know. Also, comment about what your favorite childhood toy was. I want to know. I'm not amazing at Twitter yet, but you know, whatever you fancy, if you want to comment on YouTube, Twitter, my Instagram, or my Facebook page, the links are below. And until next time, be nice and ta-ta.